Well, times have changed. The United States don't win many Olympic gold medals these days, but this fellow, Andre Ward, in the uh, white trunks here, has won three out of three so far, and he won the gold medal at the last Olympic Games at light heavyweight. Fighting, though, as a pro, as a middleweight, so the weight's coming off. Had one stoppage win so far, and in with Ben Aragon in the black trunks here, fighting out of Billings, Montana, which is horse whisperer country, if my Hollywood recollections are right. Well, the first thing I like about Ward is what you've just mentioned, uh, boxes amateur at light heavyweight and comes down two weight divisions, so this proves uh, the worth eti work ethic is there. He's taken this game serious, he's shed all the excess pounds, and I tell you, he's looking in excellent shape there. Good sharp start from him. Flicking out the jab. Fights out of Oakland, California, which is just across the bridge from San Francisco. Nice fast jab. Only his fourth pro outing. 21 years of age. Married with kids already. I mean, it's going to be some time before he sheds all of his amateur habits. There's some of the little moves, the, the single flicking style jabbing he does now and again. Uh, he'll develop as he comes along. But uh, seems to have good reflexes, good movement. Uh, we'll find out about the power. Only one stoppage so far. Aragon, by the way, is having his eighth fight in seven months. He's won four out of seven so far, two defeats and a draw. Hasn't fought anybody much, but he's never been stopped. Can Ward do that? Nice and accurate with the jab. Andre Ward. There was only one other American medal winner in Athens at the last Olympics. That was Andre Durrell at middleweight. When you think back to 1984, when they had the likes of Holyfield, Mark Breland, Virgil Hill, Maldrick Taylor, Tyrell Biggs, I think Frank Tate was in that team, and a few others besides. <laughs> you know, it's a worry, isn't it, for them? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing the, the, the way, I mean, I mean even at the, the top level, not too many, actually, Americans dominating these days. But uh, Ward looks uh, as though he has a bright future ahead of him, moving around nicely. Just keeping this fellow under control in the, the opening round, not in too much of a hurry, picking some nice educated little shots. Just dominating behind the jab, which is a punch they don't usually give you much credit for in the amateurs, so he's uh, adapted his style a little bit for the professional ranks, wins the first round easily enough. Virgil Hunter there is the uh, guru, well, manager, trainer, there, man. godfather to the folks, children, okay? everything for Andre Ward. The top if you start showing that flick, okay? Well, well it's nice turns, to, to get them, them on the right road and up, keep okay? them there. Uh, he nice to swing, if someone's showing influence. But he's picked the punches nicely. The jab was working beautifully all the way through the opening round. Didn't take much uh, in the tongue. Second round here then, and uh, Olympic gold medal winner for the United States, Andre Ward in the white and red. And has won the first round easy enough against the uh, journeyman Ben Aragon, who's 28 already from Montana. Win some, lose some kind of operator in his early career. And that job is working so well. Yep, What's, everything comes from the jab. Yep, he, somebody's been teaching him something. Good body shot too. Looking flashy. A lot trimmer than he was in his amateur days. When he won that gold medal, I remember, at light heavyweight. Now on middleweight, lovely left hook. This time to the temple of the outclassed Aragon. We kind of knew that really going in to this fight. He's finding it a bit too much, can't cope with the angles, the speed, the class of the fellow in front of him. Tough night's work, eh? Yeah, but I'll tell you, what a difference in performance from Ward. I mean, in the opening round, we were just having a look, finding out what would work. The jab was working, the hooks, that was straight right. And he's just moved into a higher gear now and really taking charge. Signs are, Harrigan may want out of there quite soon.
Yeah, we said he'd never been stopped, but uh, he might do well to get through six rounds of this. That jab, jab really jolted back his head there. He walked onto it. Of course, when you think back to the uh, the last American to win a gold medal at the Olympics, that was David Reed. It never quite happened for him in the pros, did it? Not really. I mean, so he walked right forward and delivered the left hook there like a southpaw. He actually stepped forward with his right leg and then shot the, the left hand. And this, this fella has got some really original ideas on what he does. Quite impressed. Lovely left hook. Yeah, he looks a proper fighter, doesn't he? I actually wonder if he's left-handed. That, that, that move has me thinking he may be left-handed. If that's the case, even these jabs will be hurtful. It's usually left hand as a southpaw, but of course uh, Andre Ward boxing out of the orthodox style. And if he is left handed it'll have extra weight in his jab. He's feeling that jab all right, Aragon. Yeah, I think all ambition has been knocked out of Aragon now. I think he's just thinking, can I survive here? Earn my wages. <laughs> oh, big shot that one. Left hook, bent his knees a bit. Looked a bit groggy, soaked it up, he's game and courageous, but outclassed. And the referee just might have to start taking a slightly closer look at young Ben Aragon in there at the moment. Well, it looks as though he's going to survive this round, but I wonder if the corner really wants to send him back out again. That was nice. And he's evasive boxing, a beautiful left hook. That, that, that's what makes me wonder, is he left-handed? This was a super shot. Woof. See, that, that had the look of a converted southpaw, the, the way he stepped forward. See, he sees legs changing and bang, in he goes. Lovely punch. Box. And here's round three. White trunks of Andre Ward, the uh, Olympic star. <laughs> David Reed who didn't oh, oh, come off keep them up, keep in the Olympics there have been plenty who have for the United States including Muhammad Ali and Sugar Ray Leonard and I needn't really go on very accurate can't miss Aragon no head movement from him defense not tight enough uh, looked like he just slipped there I was saying in the opening round still has a few of his amateur traits but uh, he's looking a lot more professional since then I think he was just having a little look in the opening round, he uh, looks now as though he's developing a real nice professional style. He just pushed him down again then, but before that there was a lovely left uppercut from Ward. He looks as if he's got a bit of quality he's about him. He's turned to southpaw there, Ian. There yeah. he's actually turned to southpaw. I wondered about that earlier. Yep. Beautiful punch. Good time stoppage, it's over. In the third round, Ben Aragon is stopped for the first time by this quality youngster Andre Ward of whom you will be hearing more I like the look of that wasn't up against match tonight and you have to take that into account was able to do everything he wanted but didn't he do that with a nice polished classy style well I didn't see anything I didn't like this little fella did his best to stay with him but uh, it was always well beyond them but everything about Ward there was sharp concentration was good the power was there all the punches I had the feeling earlier that he may have been a converted southpaw and I see that he's just chatting with Roy Jones so he's keeping himself in good company but that was impressive this time he'd actually turned to southpaw which I think he finds much more natural so he's looking for the powerful shot he wants the left hand to be doing the damage and there it certainly did the damage there at that time that was a beauty Terrific performance tonight, Jim, wasn't it, from him? Yep, everything, nothing I would change, that was spot on. Four out of four for Andre Ward.